Hello, welcome to the session on Agile project management in continuation with the previous contents. Let us see the learning outcome. At the end of this session, students will be able to use and adapt the iterative project management lifecycle model. An iterative PMLC model consists of a number of process groups that are repeated sequentially within an iteration with a feedback loop after each iteration is completed. Iterative approaches are used when you have an initial version of the solution, but it is known to fall short in terms of the features and functions. The iterative cycles are designed to select and integrate the missing pieces of the solutions or to add the new features. Think of the iterative PMLC model as a variant of production prototyping. The intermediate solutions are production ready, but they might not be released by the client to the end user until the final version is ready. The intermediate versions give the client something to work with as they attempt to learn and discover the additional needed features. The client would choose to release a partial solution to the end user in an attempt to get input from them. An iteration consists of a planning, launching, monitoring and controlling and closing process groups. Closing an iteration is not the same as the project. The iterative PMLC model requires a solution that identifies the requirements at the function level but might be missing some of the details at the feature level. In other words, the functions are known and will be built into the solution through a number of iterations. But the details, that is the features, are not completely known at the beginning of the project. The iterative PMLC model embraces several types of iterations. Iteration can be on requirement, functionality, features, design, development, solutions and other component of the solution. Next we will see when to use the iterative model. The iterative PMLC model kicks in when one of the following occurs. Most but not all of the solution is clearly known that is a few features require a clarification or not understood to the user. And if you have chosen the incremental PMLC model but have a strong suspicious that there will be more than a minimum number of scope change requests. Then the last one is if you have chosen the adoptive PMLC model but are concerned about lack of client involvement. So these are the uh, cases where we use the iterative model. Next we will see the scoping phase of an iterative model. So it takes on a, a bit more complexity than the scoping phase of linear or incremental PMLC models and it requires a decisions that are not part of linear or incremental PMLC models. That is implementation of the intermediate solutions that is the work products that can be a problematic and final solutions that cannot be defined at the start of the project. Planning is done at two levels in an iterative PMLC model. The complete plan for building the known solution. The first, first iteration in this plan may be of long duration in order to accommodate building a production version of the entire known solution. If you feel that this iteration will be too long, then you might consider using a tool to model the solution instead. The partial plan for the high priority functions. For this approach, you will begin the partial plan by prioritizing the functions and features in the initial requirements. There is a significant difference between the project team for traditional project management project and project team for agile project management project. The table shows the difference. The first is the, uh, the size characteristic where the, the it could be a very large. The traditional project team could be very large and in agile project management usually it is less than 15. 
and skill level is in traditional is all levels and in agile project management it is mostly the skilled people and location is a uh, co-located or distributed in uh, traditional project team in agile uh, project management it is a uh, co-located the experience level in traditional based project team is a uh, junior to senior but in uh, agile project management it's a uh, skilled and senior people in the traditional the uh, it requires a supervisor to control the team but in agile project management team unsupervised monitor and control phase monitor the phases and close the phases or iteration and closes the project let us see the characteristics the solution is known but not to the expected depth in simpler applications of iterative plc model features may not be clearly defined and it often uses iconic or simulated prototypes to discover the complete solution in more complex cases that requires a solution discovery a modeling approach that could be a quick and efficient approach now we'll see the strengths the client reviews the current partial solution for improvement there is no substitute to experiencing and using a partial solution for the client this continuous review by the client that tends to keep the the solutions aligned with business needs and it can process the scope changes between the iterations although the simple iterative models can uh, receive and process the scope changes request between iterations you should try to stay in control by presenting the client with alternatives and ideas at each iteration the projects are required to adopt the changing uh, business conditions next we will see the uh, weaknesses it requires a more actively involved client team than the traditional project management team the higher the likelihood of change the more you need active client involvement to make a good business decision regarding the change it requires a co-located team having a co-located team is usually not possible and uh, this places a high change project at great risk final solution cannot be defined at the start of the project the final solution is a variable the less you know about the solution at the beginning the more unexpected it may be at the end you might have started out thinking you were going to solve the entire problem but you ended up solving only a part of it because the time or budget ran out or maybe the parts of the problem turn out to be the intractable and you just have to live with the best you can do so the type of iterative uh, pmlc models are the these are the main models uh, prototyping and rational unified process so we'll discuss in uh, detail about the prototyping model prototyping model that figure shows requirements are gathered from the client prototype is developed and delivered to the customer after delivering to the customer a feedback is taken from the client and plan for the next prototype is developed once the iteration is completed deliver the final solution for the project now pause the video for a while and think about what this figure represents yes the answer is 3 incremental pmlc model so here the iterations are incremented as 1 2 till n iterations so answer is incremental pmlc model now pause the video for a while and uh, think about what this figure represents yes the answer is iterative and incremental model iterative and incremental development is a combination of uh, both iterative design or iterative method and incremental build model for development during software development more than one iteration of the software development life cycle may be in progress at the same time and this process may be described as an evolutionary process or incremental build approach these are the references i referred thank you